Welcome back to the Professor's Lab. I'm Professor V, and this is round two of the Die Hard League Tournament that happened on July 27th, 2023. If you didn't know, Die Hard League happens every Thursday at 6 p.m. Central at Die Hard Games. Featuring casual and tournament play of whatever format anyone wants, really. Uh, just let me know what formats you guys are interested in the comments. Um, but anyways, more info in the description. Uh, Obsidian and Flames pre-release this Saturday, starting at 1 p.m. Central at Die Hard Games. New cards. <laughs> Please give this video a like. Subscribe to this channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Say what you need to say in the comments. And all that other good stuff. But let's get into the game. Alright, you guys are going to have to forgive me on this one. Uh, rapid, rapid stuff. I have no idea about this. Uh, looks like the Rapid Strike player is going first. Um, they are looking to get a Remoray down. I know that's very important. Uh, are they going first? I missed to see who who did the draw. No, it looks like they did. If they did, they they benched uh, Inteleon and passed, right? Uh, Nest Ball being played on the right, um, searching the deck for a basic Pokemon and putting it onto the bench, and it looks like that important Frigibax is found in this Chien Pao Bax Caliber deck. That's the name of the game in this deck's name, you know. Uh, the second uh, most beautiful Nest Ball, and Irida coming down. Uh, Nest, you, are, you guys already know what Nest Ball does, and then Irida lets you search for a water Pokemon and an item card. So Nest Ball is going to find that Arceus V, Irida is going to find Radiant Greninja, and Battle VIP Pass rolling on all cylinders here on the right. Second Frigibax found, very important, just in case uh, one of them gets KO'd. And uh, a Luminion. Now, let's see something here. Okay, I had to double check uh, Battle VIP Pass text. It looks like the Pokemon that's found uh, has to go directly onto the bench. So we'll wait and see what happens uh, before uh, I rewind or, or something. I like to make sure I'm uh, calling things correctly here. Um, but if the Luminion is found with the Battle VIP Pass, um, then... Uh, its luminous sign ability cannot be used since it's not played from hand. Oh, okay. You know what? What might be happening here is uh, let me go ahead and pause things here so we can get too sidetracked. Uh, what might be happening is um, the the player on the right communicated, "Hey, I'm actually grabbing um, with Irida, not Greninja. I'm grabbing Luminion and Battle VIP Pass, and then with the Battle VIP Pass." Um, Radiant Greninja and Frigibax will hit the bench, allowing Luminion to enter the hand. So that that may or may not uh, be what's going on. Uh, if you happen to know or caught something that I didn't, uh, please let me know in the comments or IRL. You know, you know where to find me. Anyways, uh, Energy Basic uh, Water is attached to that Arceus on the bench and uh, passing things over to the Rapid Strike player. Uh, let's see that Luminion's still on the board, but we'll uh, we'll move on here. Um, Inteleon evolves, and then Inteleon is going to use its ability, uh, let's see, Inteleon VMAX, its ability, Double Gunner, you must discard a Water Energy card from your hand in order to use this ability. Once during your turn, you may choose two of your opponent's bench Pokemon and put two damage counters on each of them. So using Double Gunner to discard a Water Energy and put two damage counters on a, see, I'm not the only one that had to read it. I'm <laughs> putting it on a couple Pokemon on the bench, two damage counters. Uh, rapid Strike Energy attached to the um, active um, uh, Inteleon uh, VMAX and Professor's Research. Discarding the hand and drawing seven cards. Looks like the energy will put on that Frigibax. Yep, uh, this player knows the name of the game. Take down the engine. Uh, Remoraid is found. Um, Forest Seal Stone is found and attached to that bench Inteleon VMAX. And let's see, a second double gunner happens. Uh, you can use multiple per turn. Uh, so the, the benched uh, Inteleon is going to put two more damage counters on the Frigibax on the bench. And attacking for 140 damage uh, with G Max Spiral. Uh, you may put an energy attached to this Pokemon into your hand. If you do, this attack does 70 more damage, so 70 plus 70, 140, and that Rapid Strike energy covers the, the two energy cost of the um, 
Inteleon VMAX. Yep, <laughs> as you see, uh, uh, checking out the Rapid Strike Energy and the Inteleon VMAX, making sure uh, all is good to go here in this game. Uh, doing 140 damage to that active, I believe that's Chien Pao. I might have missed its uh, uh, using its ability last turn to uh, my bad on that. Um, trying to figure out, sort out the battle VIP pass eared uh, um, interactions that were going on. Uh, play resumes on the right, starting things off by benching that Luminion, uh, allowing the player to search their deck for a Irida thanks to Luminion's Luminous Sign ability, letting them find a supporter card. Uh, Irida is going to find an item card and a water Pokemon. Ultra Ball is found, and a Bax Caliber is found, so there must be a rare candy in hand already. To evolve uh, one of the Frigibax up to Bax Caliber, and it can start using its Ice Cold ability to attach water energy all over the board. Uh, what was played there, Ultra Ball? Yeah, Ultra Ball discarding Super Rod and something else. Look at that old school Super Rod. I like what I see there. Um, yeah, uh, Ultra Ball is going to find uh, probably Arceus V-Star, um, so that way it can use its V-Star um, Starbirth uh, ability to um, search the deck for any two cards, any uh, combo pieces that might be missing to make things happen uh, here in this turn. Uh, but we'll see what they find. Uh, Bax Color was fine, found, so I don't think you find another one of those. Unless you have two rare candy, maybe you do for some insurance, but um, maybe Arceus is the best uh, thing to find. Uh, looks like we're playing a rare candy from hand. Um, and we have a um, superior energy retrieval, of course. Uh, forgive me. I, oh yeah, there we go. So those must be in the hand. We must just be flashing what's in the hand, and then finally resolving that Ultra Ball, finding that uh, uh, alternate art Arceus V Star. Uh, let me know in the comments if you're a fan of the original art Arceus V Star or this alternate art one. Uh, I'm a fan of the original. Uh, Rare Candy is played to evolve a Frigibax into Bax Caliber, and now we are gonna start getting ice cold. Uh, discard an energy uh, to use Radiant Greninja's ability to draw two cards with concealed cards. Discard an energy card, draw two cards. Looks like Shivery Chill of the active Chien Pao is played. Um, if anyone wants to start a GoFundMe to uh, help me fix this gla glare on the screen, um, you know, feel free. <laughs> uh, Shivery Chill is going to find two basic water energy from the deck. Um, as long as that uh, Chien Pao is active, it can use that ability. And it's time to find lots of water energy to do lots of damage. We can lay infinite amounts of it thanks to uh, Bax Caliber's super cold ability anywhere on that side of the field. Chien Pao's attack does 60 damage uh, times uh, for each damage, uh, or for each energy you discard. It looks like superior energy re retrieval is being played. Discard two cards and put up to four uh, basic water energy from your discard pile to your hand. And it looks like the full amount of energy needed to be discarded to take the one shot on that Intellion VMAX with a 320 HP was done. KO, three prizes taken, half the game over. Energy retrieval being played here on the left, uh, getting two energy from the discard to their hand. Another uh, double gunner uh, putting more damage on the bench Pokemon. Uh, looks like they're gonna choose uh, to spread it out a little bit more here. A uh, Rapid Strike Energy being attached to the active uh, Pokemon. Uh, what was that card that was just played? Uh, forgive me guys here. Uh, Ultra Ball, of course, discarding two cards and finding any Pokemon you want from the deck. Uh, basic, evolved, doesn't matter. Looks like that Octillery is going to be found. That is key here in this Rapid Strike deck. Octillery with its Rapid Strike search. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a Rapid Strike card and put it in your hand. So, uh, of course, the Rapid Strike deck is filled with uh, lots of good Rapid Strike cards uh, that this Octillery can find. Such a powerful card here in this format we have with these Rapid Strike uh, Pokemon. And it looks like Iono is the supporter for turn here. Iono shuffle your hand. Both players shuffle their hand. Put it at the bottom of their deck and then draw cards equal to remaining prize cards. So player on the left gets six, player on the right gets three. Looks like we are activating that Octillery's Rapid Strike search to find a Rapid Strike card. 
Rapid Strike Urshifu V is found and put on the bench. Rapid Strike Urshifu V evolves into the VMAX, and that one does damage uh, 150 when it comes up to the active spot, and um, it can do 120, 120 anywhere on the opponent's board uh, after discarding all the energy, of course. Uh, but anyways, that's looking maybe too far into the future because we just got a baby Urshifu V here on the bench. V-Star Power being activated for that Forest Seal Stone uh, lets you search your deck for one card, any card you want. You don't even have to show your opponent. And you put it into your hand. Very good card here in the format we have um, with these V Pokemon. They're still hanging in there. <laughs> they haven't all rotated yet. Um, Pokemon named that after me, by the way. Um, that Radiant Al Alakazam being found. It's Painful Spoon's ability that lets you move up to two damage counters from one of your opponent's Pokemon to another one of their Pokemon, taking the KO on that Frigibax. Always nice to take prizes before the end of the turn. And then um, the uh, Rapid Strike and Teleon V attacks for 140, taking the KO on the active Chi and Pao. Radiant Greninja is promoted here on the right. And what can we do? I don't think the um, Arceus V-Star ability has been used, uh, unless I'm tripping. Um, but what we're going to want to do is find another Chi and Pao, get a bunch of water energy into the hand to take the KO on this active three prize Pokemon taking the game. Let's see what our Ice player can do here on the right. I'm going to start things off with a superior energy retrieval, discarding two cards and getting four basic energy from the discard pile into their hand. So there's some energy. And we need, yeah, we're going to need to discard six of them um, with Chi and Pao's attack in order to KO the active Pokemon. A uh, concealed card uh, is activated, discarding a card. Um, and uh, drawing two cards, thanks to that Radiant Greninja's ability. Uh, Irida is a supporter being played here, finding a water Pokemon, Xi'an Pao, or Ice, <laughs> and a item card, a superior energy retrieval. So yeah, we're, the we're, pieces are coming together. Are we going to see it here, the big KO? Xi'an Pao is put on the bench. We need six energy in hand, I believe, to take the KO, and for that Xi'an Pao to be in the active spot. The stadium played uh, skate park, skaters park. I think that's what this player plays. That uh, lets you, when you manually retreat, instead of discarding the energy, it goes to your hand. Very good uh, uh, card in this deck. Uh, very good synergy with this deck. Uh, attach an energy retreat goes straight to the hand. Chiam Pao becomes active. Energy goes straight to the hand because of that skaters park, I believe. And then it looked like we were going to activate uh, the Chi and Pao's Shivery Chill. Uh, but maybe thinking of doing something else first. Nope, we're going for the Shivery Chill to find two water energy from the deck. Put it into the hand. And are we at that magic number of six? Because six times six is 36. Remember that from grade school? Anyways, another superior energy retrieval was played. We must have it with all these superior energy retrievals being played, right? A little bit of off-camera, but it looks like three energy are found, but I'm sure that's enough to take the KO here. Let's see it. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, however many. Either way, enough, and I trust these players. And there is the game. Let's see if there's any additional bonus content at the end of this game. <laughs> Uh, nope, nope, that's pretty much going to do it. So, um, yeah, pretty straightforward matchup there. Um, seems like Chi and Pao has good matchups against uh, three prize Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon that have more, uh, that give up more prizes than itself, because it only gives up two. So uh, it can take big one-shots on big Pokemon, and then only give up two prizes. You know, that, that seems to be in Chi and Pao's, Pao's favor, as long as the, the game plan uh, ends up being executed and no uh, bricks are dropped. Um, but I'll stop talking now. What do you guys think of this video? And the commentary. Please let me know in the comments. Like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time in the Professor's Lab.